Hello, today I'll be going over discrete input and output wiring. By the end of this session, you should understand some of the basic input and output circuits, as well as NPN and PNP, and also the terms syncing and sourcing. So on the right-hand side here, we have an input, and this diode is going through a uh, resistor that's pulled up internally. And this is optically isolated from the input. So if anything were to happen to this input, if it was accidentally miswired up to 120 volts AC or some other voltage, it would prevent a catastrophic failure of the device. So that's an opto isolation. So the current flows from the pull-up out of the input. So that is a sourcing input, and then it is wired to the output, and the output switches it to common. So the output is syncing the current to the DC common, and that gets tied back to the inputs common, as well as the power supply reference. Here's a different type of input. Here we have a plus and a minus on the input. Um, this is just one example of a manufacturer's input. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here. Here's a capacitor. That really acts as a low-pass filter. Here's a current limit, so that's similar to a resistor. You don't really need to worry about this. This right here are two Zener diodes. Those are used for overvoltage production. Really, the most important thing going on here is this diode here. So here is an opto isolation. Here is the um, input. So the current is flowing into this diode and out here. So the power supply is connected into the plus. The current flows into the plus and out the minus. So that is a sourcing input that is tied to this output on the sensor, which is switching it to the DC common. And so that output is syncing, and so then the common is tied to the reference for the power supply. Notice that this is completely isolated s from DC common. It is not tied to the DC common. You always need to be careful. Sometimes the inputs are internally tied to a DC common. In that case, then yes, then the DC common would have to be connected to the input. This, though, is completely floating. And then obviously the uh, common needs to be tied to the power supply that is the um, powering up the plus on the input and then also the sensors VCC. Here's another example where the output is just uh, switching, connecting to, so you have an output plus and an output minus. The input is pulled up internally through the diode, so the current flows from the plus out the diode. So that is a sourcing input. The output switches it to, to the minus. So that is a sinking output. And then obviously the current flows back to the common and that completes the circuit. Let's uh, look at PNP. Here the voltage comes out of the voltage power supply into the in uh, the PNP sensor. This is powering the transistor and the source for the output. So the, the current flows into, or out of the output, pardon me. So that is sourcing the current. The input, obviously the voltage comes into the input through this diode and activates the input through this optical isolation. So that is a syncing input, and then the commons are tied together, and then also tied to the reference for the power supply.
here is a uh, input where we have a plus and a minus. So the current flows out of the power supply into the PNB sensor. It comes out of the output, so that is a sourcing output. It comes into the plus on the input. It goes through the diode, out the minus. So that is a sinking input, and then that is then tied back to the power supply, and both commons are tied together. Here we have another PNP where the output is a plus and a minus. So we need voltage coming into the plus that is then switched to the minus. That output is sourcing, then it is tied to the input where it's flowing into the input and out the common. That is a sinking input and then it's tied back to the reference for the power supply. Again this output is isolated so this is floating in reference to the common. Just double check with the manufacturer that it is not tied to the DC common. If that is the case then it does need to be connected to the common as well. That gives you some examples of NPN and PNP syncing and sourcing circuits. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, emn underscore support at parker.com. Thanks and have a great day.